Now let's begin with Cowboys and Aliens, director Jean Favreau's gutsy experiment of mixing two classic genres, the Western and science fiction. This is based on a graphic novel. I'm guessing that it works much better on the page than it does on the screen. Daniel Craig stars as Jake, a cowboy who wakes up one day bleeding from a nasty wound and with a piece of metal strapped to his wrist. Jake can't remember who he is or how he got into this mess, but soon he learns he's a wanted man. Jake is taken into custody, but before he can be sent to jail, the the aliens attack and steal many of the townspeople. Jake might be able to save them because the metal wristband turns out to be a very powerful weapon. So he joins members of the town, including Harrison Ford's character, a cowboy war hero, in a rescue posse. And the rest of the very long two hours is the cowboys tracking and battling the aliens. Okay, obviously this is a crazy combination. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. I mean, there have been classic movie combinations in the past, Felix and Oscar, Buzz and Woody, but Cowboys and Aliens will never join that group. Hardly anything, anything in this movie really works. The pace at the beginning is very slow, and the characters are uninteresting, and sometimes the actors seem uninterested in this movie at all. And the editing is sloppy and choppy, and the music's way over the top, and the action scenes range from ridiculous to hilarious, but unintentionally. Okay, so we're gonna get to a grade in a minute, but yeah. usually movies about the Wild West, violent, usually mm. uh, movies about mm. aliens, yeah. very violent, That's so right. who is this appropriate for? It's rated PG-13 for tons of action violence and a lot of gore and a lot of blood. I'm surprised this movie actually isn't R. I don't think it's good for uh, kids or anybody who wants to be entertained by a movie. So almost anybody. So what right. grade do you give a movie like that? <laughs> On the official Kid Creek Report Card, Cowboys and Aliens gets a D, probably my biggest disappointment of the year so far. Okay, let's move on to a different sort of alien. And I always forget that they're aliens, right. but the Smurfs. The Smurfs, and for the uneducated, the Smurfs are small, blue, mythical creatures, three apples high, who live in a faraway land. Their village is a fun, peaceful place that's invisible to outside outsiders. Everyone lives in mushroom houses and each Smurf has a job to do. There are 99 male Smurfs and one girl Smurfette. And they're all named and identified by their one outstanding trait. Their leader is the great Papa Smurf. The Smurfs' arch enemy, the evil wizard Gargamel, played by the hilarious Hank Azaria, finally gets into the village and attacks the Smurfs along with his cat Azriel. While being chased, six Smurfs escape into a magic portal and end up in New York City. And soon Gargamel and Azriel follow. The Smurfs end up living with a young couple, played by Neil Patrick Harris and Jayma Mays of Glee. And together they try to figure out a way for the Smurfs to get back home and avoid being captured by Gargamel. All right, that sounds pretty cute. There have been yeah. many movies recently about classic animated characters uh, coming to uh, basically the real world, yeah. if you could call it that, but in CGI form, right. like Alvin and the Chipmunks, Garfield, uh, Yogi Bear. Mm. How does this compare? Well, I think it's several notches above those films because of the very clever script. In fact, the Smurfs is so Smurf and funny that I almost Smurfed. I mean, the dialogue is filled with tons of inside jokes and references, and it times uh, the, the filmmakers make fun they poke fun at the whole Smurf world without really making fun of it. Great inside jokes in this movie. The CGI animation is fantastic and the casting is perfect. All right, who's this one for? I think it's for everybody. It's rated PG, mild action, some rude humor. I really can't think of a group that won't enjoy this film, including the fans who watched the cartoon back in the 80s. What grade do you give it? On the official Kid Crick Report card, the Smurfs gets a B+, one of the funniest family films of the year.